Hey, good morning everybody. This week we are learning about the life cycle of a duck. So uh, our story for the week this week is a book all about eggs and it is such a beautiful book. I've been so excited to show you. You're going to love all the pictures and all the information inside. Let's take a look. It's called An Egg is Quiet. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers like a hummingbird in a nest or on top of its father's feet like an emperor penguin. We know all about emperor penguins, don't we, from our topic called Winter Wonderland. Buried beneath the sand like sea turtles, warm and cosy. An egg is colourful. Look at all those fantastic colours of eggs. You can see, oh, can you see the little red one? That's a salmon egg, that one. Look at that tiny little blue one from a blue crab. A lobster egg. Oh, that big yellow one is from a turkey. Maybe you can pause the video and have a look with your mummies and daddies at all of the colourful eggs. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs. Sea turtles dig a hole in the sand with their flippers and lay up to 200 soft round eggs. Round eggs fit together nicely in tight spaces. There are oval eggs, like a ladybird beetle. When ladybugs hatch as larvae, their first meal is often the egg case they crawled out of. That's a little bit like our tadpoles who are eating the yolk of their frog spawn egg. There are pointy eggs. Seabird eggs are pointy at one end, so if they're laid on a rock, on rock ledges, they roll around in safe little circles and not off the edge of the cliff. And look at this one, that's really interesting. A tubular egg. Okay, while most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks, like the lesser spotted dogfish, begin life in a leathery egg case with tendrils. The tendrils anchor the eggs to seaweed so they don't get swept away by the current. An egg is clever. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. Can you spot the eggs in this picture? They all look like rocks, don't they? That's very clever. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it, or it might be grey, the colour of mud. An egg does not want to be eaten by any animals, for example, a raccoon or a snake or a fox. Eggs come in different sizes. An ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. It is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. And guess what? I have actually got an ostrich egg to show you. Here it is, look, look at that. Can you see how big it is? Wow, that hole in the bottom, look, is to show there's nothing actually in this egg. It's just an empty ostrich egg. And that's, this came all the way from South Africa. Brilliant. Hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. That means ostrich egg, which means they're so, so tiny. Hummingbird eggs, when they, when they hatch, they must be tiny, tiny, tiny little birds. An egg is artistic. Can you see how many different patterns there are on all of these eggs? They're really beautiful, aren't they? Do you think that you can design yourself a patterned egg? You might even want to make a repeating pattern on your egg. An egg is textured. That means they all feel different, okay? There are hard eggs. Bird eggs are hard. And soft eggs. Reptile eggs are often soft and rubbery. Reptiles are animals like iguanas and snakes. Oh, and gooey eggs. Amphibian eggs are gooey. The goo keeps them from drying out. What do those gooey eggs remind you of? They're like frog spawn, aren't they? That's where our tadpoles um, were before they hatched. There are smooth eggs. Most bird eggs are smooth. And rough eggs. 
An egg might even be fossilised. Oh, what does fossilised mean? The remains of creatures that died millions of years ago may become rock hard or fossilised. Scientists have unearthed fossilised dinosaur eggs all around the world. Would you like to see a dinosaur egg? Some are round and some are oblong. Some are as small as one inch across and some are as large as 20 inches. Wow, that's a big egg. Scientists believe all, dis all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. An egg is giving. Wow, this is really interesting. You can see at the top here, this is a hen egg. OK, so at the start, three days in, it just looks like a little bean in the egg. And then it grows and grows some more. And then you can almost see that it looks like a, a whole chick at the end. And then after 21 days, which is just less than a month, it hatches into a tiny little yellow chick. How cute. Then the next one is a salmon. Wow, it takes a salmon a long time to hatch out of its egg. 12 weeks. Oh my goodness. And the bottom one is a grasshopper. And that takes 15 days, but a grasshopper stays inside the egg until the weather is just right. So it's not going to come out on rainy, cold days. It's going to come out on a nice warm day. Then this big picture up here shows the inside of the egg. So you can see, can you see the little pink? Um, it looks like a little pink moon. That's called the embryo and that's the baby chick growing inside the egg. We'll look a little bit more about um, the inside of eggs soon. An egg gives the little creature growing inside everything that it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk, that's the yellow bit, is its food. The egg white is its pillow to make sure it's nice and cosy. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. An egg is quiet. Then suddenly, what happens when an egg starts to hatch? Can you see his little beak poking through? An egg is noisy. Cheep, 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 peep, peep, peep. Those are cute little chicks, aren't they? And look at all of these creatures that have hatched outside of eggs. Out of eggs, we've got frogs, fish, lobsters, lots of different types of birds, penguins, finches, gulls, even our cheeky magpies that we see at school. Have a look with your mummies and daddies at all of the different things that hatch out of eggs.